Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris, and if you are new here, welcome. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I have been MIA, I do apologize. You guys, I'm gonna film a whole video on why I was absent from YouTube for about the last month or so. It's a very exciting. If you do follow me on Instagram, you kinda saw sneak peeks or not really sneak peeks, but like you saw what I was up to. But basically, short version of the story is I ended up having to take a trip home. It was to work on my immigration stuff, and yeah, I will explain that in another video. But you guys, I had so much time on my hands that I could not help myself but shop, and oh my god, I came home, and there were so many boxes. I don't know if I saved any pictures of the stacks of boxes, but um, it wasn't too bad. I definitely went a little overboard on Sephora, and then I was shopping on Target, and somehow Target, like, at one point, like, realized that I wasn't in the U.S., so it, like, stopped computing, so I couldn't shop on Target, which was a blessing in disguise. And Alta would not let me put my orders through, so I couldn't shop on Alta or Target for the most part, but Sephora was good. Almost all the indie brands were perfectly fine with me spending way too much money on their website. So I have a really, really, really ridiculous haul. So if you guys don't like haul videos, please don't watch this video. I personally love hauls, even though you get so much FOMO from hauls. I was still, they're like one of my favorite videos to watch because it's just so fun to see what people bought. So if you don't like videos like that or you're like on a no buy or you're just trying not to buy makeup or you just, you know, hate seeing people get really excited about makeup, you're probably not going to want to watch this video. Uh, those are all my disclaimers. Uh, but if you are interested in seeing what I purchased from the VIB sale, just stuff I bought in the month of April, I usually try to just do one big haul every month. So what I end up doing is just hoarding makeup. And so a lot of the stuff I've purchased like throughout the month, but I'm finally getting a chance to sit and film. So get excited and let's get into it. Okay guys, so you know I had to buy the BH Cosmetics Festival Palette. I actually took this with me to Sri Lanka and I didn't end up using actually most of my makeup as much as I thought I would. I thought I would end up making huge dents in these palettes that I took with me. I thought I would have had the chance to fully test these out, but honestly you guys, it's so hot. Um, and I just really wasn't in the mood to do like a full beat. And I think what happens is like with my setup, I'm so spoiled and I love doing makeup in this room with my simple human mirror and it's just like, it's, this is like my zen. So when I was home, it just didn't feel as exciting. And I almost like, I'm like, now I'm like not as addicted to YouTube, which is weird. Like I love watching YouTube and now I'm like, eh. Like if I didn't film another YouTube video, like would I be okay? Probably, but of course, like I wanna share all this makeup with you. So anyway, that's we're gonna save that for my talking video. But yeah, I picked up the BH Cosmetics Festival palette. Uh, I've maybe used this two or three times, and honestly, I do really like it. Uh, let me know from everything you guys see in this video. Just let me know like what you're most interested in seeing a review of first. That would be super helpful because I'm just like beyond behind on my palette reviews. Um, but yeah, so far I really like this. I think it's a really fun palette. BH Cosmetics has just like been killing it for me. So I'm personally like very happy with the brand. And yeah, this is another really good one from them. I really want to buy their Take Me to Brazil palette. But I almost bought it when I was in Sri Lanka because it's just so easy. And then like I didn't get, have any access to most of the stuff for like weeks. And it was pretty much like torturing yourself, um, but then I decided not to because I do feel like I bought a lot of colorful palettes the last couple of months. So now I feel like I've reached that point in my makeup collection where I, I genuinely feel like I have enough. So that makes me happy, but I did buy a palette today, so I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, very excited. Here is the little sleeve that the palette comes with. I literally just landed like 
it's big. I've been in the country maybe 48 hours when I'm filming this, but I want to film this so bad so I can put all this stuff away and start using it. And I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't think I did, but I did pick up the Soft Glam palette. This was one of those palettes where I think everyone was like, nope, not buying it. It's so boring. Like, I totally thought, like, I'm not going to buy it. Then I saw it in person and I was like, oh. And it swatches, like, so beautifully. And the formula is, like, what I love from ABH. And so I was like, fuck it. Let me just buy it. I bought it when Macy's was doing 15% off. And I know a lot of people hate this packaging, but I love this color. I think it's so chic. And I don't know, I just love, this is like my favorite like color that they've done so far. So very excited to own the South Glam. I took it on vacation with me. And if you guys, again, follow me on Instagram, I had nothing but good things to say about that particular palette. And here is what the box looks like as well, if you guys were curious. Here is another palette. This one I picked up, like this stuff, some of the stuff I've had for so long. This is a indie brand that I've wanted to try forever. This is Love Lux Beauty. And um, this is their, I don't even know. You just get this palette and then these all are packaged as singles. I've heard a few YouTubers, Instagrammers talk about this brand. And honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of the concept because a lot of their stuff is like unicorn and mermaid theme. Like uh, one of these shades is called What Are Mermaids Made Of? And then there's one called What Are Unicorns Made Of? And so it was just so corny and like I'm like where am I going to wear these shades? And I think these are supposed to be like face and eye shadows or like highlighters. And I'm like oh god these are like way too scary for me. Uh, but they were having a sale and you guys I'm like on a mission to try all these indie brands. So I did buy that. So stay tuned on reports from that. This is the Persona palette, the Identity palette. And I've seen this in so many YouTube videos. And this went on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This guy was on sale for 16 bucks. And do I need another neutral palette? Absolutely not. But was I able to say no to $16? Uh, no. And I've heard so many people say really, really good things about this palette. I know my friend, I believe her channel is just Jackie Lorraine. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Saying that she loves this Persona palette. And I've also seen Andrea Matigliano talk about this palette and how wonderful the formula is. So I'm really excited to own this palette and test it out. And I just want to reiterate if there's any particular palette you want me to review first, please just leave me a comment. It would totally help me out so, so much. Um, here is a bunch of single shadows I bought. This is from the brand, brand, band. This is from the brand Coastal Sense. And I actually bought um, some palettes from them. This is, I'm so like behind you guys. It's like unreal. Um, but yeah, I bought these palettes from Coastal Scents. I haven't even used them yet. I'm actually considering giving one away in a giveaway when I eventually review all this stuff for you guys. Um, but I'm not like a huge Coastal Scents person. I did receive the re revealed palettes in previous like boxy charms and I didn't enjoy them. But I heard a lot of people talk about Hot Pots or I think they're called Hot Pots and that's their single shadows and these are $2.00. And then they went on sale while I was in Sri Lanka for 99 cents. And so, of course, I decided that I need all the bright colored eyeshadows in the world. So I did make my own single palette from them. And I'm really excited to have this. So let me know what you guys think of the formula. Have you tried the Hot Pots from Coastal Scents? I'm like way too excited to play with this guy. Next thing I did pick up that was on sale is the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay palette. I really didn't want this, but you guys, again, the Macy sale, like this was on sale for 16 bucks and then it was 15% off. I was like, they're practically giving it away. Like I should probably get it. So I did. And honestly, I, in my mind, like when I was home and I didn't have access to all of my makeup and I just took like a few items with me. I was like, gosh, I really need to like downsize my makeup collection. So I think eventually, once I've had more time to just like settle down, relax, I'm gonna probably go through and um, declutter some of my gently used makeup because I think, hey, if you guys can buy it for me and enjoy it, why not? 
Um, so I always have my Poshmark listed in my description box if you guys are interested in perusing. Um, my gently used makeup is always like in my Poshmark. So check it out. Okay, this one I feel like I feel like you can judge me on this because this is one of those brands I didn't want to support, but I was too curious. Curiosity got the best of me. So this is a palette from Bad Habit, and it's called Dream State, and it's 15 Shades Press Glitter Collection. So I tried to buy one that wasn't like a dupe of something because that's the part I didn't really like about them is that they were duping all these like very well-known palettes and I just think that's like really kind of like stealing from another brand. I know people really enjoy being able to buy less expensive versions of you know very popular makeup items and you know I'm happy for people that get to take advantage of that but I feel like especially the world we live in now people are so quick to call out like YouTubers stealing ideas and things like that. I'm like, how does nobody find it like a little bit ethically repulsive that this brand is like copying all these palettes that, you know, people work hard on. So I don't know if this is a dupe to anything. I don't feel like it reminds me of anything, but you know, the internet is a interesting place. So yeah, I thought this was a cool palette. I'm excited to play with it. It's all glitter. So it's not going to be something that I can use as a standalone. But I'm very excited to uh, get into this and see if I enjoy it. I don't think I'll buy. I'm not planning on buying anything for a while here. So, yeah, I'm going to try and be good. But I do have this. Again, I'm going to say it again. If you guys see anything in particular that you want me to do a, you know, review of, like, right away, just please leave me a comment because it's, it's, like, really going to help me out. So I also did pick up the ABH bronzers. Um, sorry, this is the Amorese highlight. Let's talk about this really quick because I did not want to buy this highlight um, And then again the Macy sale got me so I was like sure I'll get it. I'll try it out I love this highlight. It's actually the highlighter I'm wearing on my face today and I took it with me to Sri Lanka It's it's a beautiful highlight. It works so well. It like melts into my skin now, I personally think it's exactly like the So Hollywood highlighter that ABH released that was limited edition. Literally feels exactly the same. Even the formula feels the same. So if you have So Hollywood, I don't think you need this one. And I was like, oh, I probably should just return it. But I feel like I'm going to get peer pressured in. I'm going to peer pressure myself into keeping it. Um, something that I think I should return because I really want to love this formula. And I, I just don't. These are... I actually bought two shades because I wasn't sure which was going to be my shade. So I bought Mahogany and Saddle from ABH and these are their powder bronzers. I was just not impressed with these. So I have a feeling I'm going to take these back. I'm actually even wearing the bronzer today and I, I feel like I like some of my other bronzers better. Just, I don't know. Just, I'm not in love with the formula. It's very powdery. It almost reminds me of like an eyeshadow formula. And when it comes to my bronzers, I really, um, I don't know, I just, I feel like I haven't found the right color and I don't like the formula of these. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I know a lot of the reviews I've seen of these are pretty positive, but for me, just not my favorite. So I'm pretty sure I'm taking these back, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Next thing I bought was this guy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got so freaking excited because I was so bummed that I didn't purchase this when it was available on sale on Sephora.com. So this is Kat Von D's Project Chimps, which is like a limited edition shade that she did to help save the chimps. So it says, for every lipstick sold, 5% of the retail price will go to Project Chimps, a nonprofit organization that has worked to stop the use of chimps in private biomedical research and retire them to a sanctuary. So I think that's so cool. I love this color. It's like the most beautiful rusty red shade it actually looks very much like the packaging i already put the lipstick away and <laughs> i'm not gonna grab it to show you guys hopefully you can you know live with that but yeah honestly if you're looking for a really cool shade i would use out or check this out and of course i love the kawandi everlasting liquid lipstick formula so 100 percent recommend that um, i don't really want to show a ton of samples in this video um, but I did get this little sample 
uh, from Sephora. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. They relaunched this whole line. So these are actually eye safe, lip safe, and like you can use them on your face. Which I think is cool that it's like a multi-purpose pencil because I think most of the time you wouldn't think to put a lip liner in your eye line. So yeah, I think it's cool. I'm excited. Uh, there are three options for samples on Sephora and I just picked the black because I thought, you know, eyeliner is always handy. I did pick up the Perception palette by Shayla. I also picked up one of her lippies and one of her glosses and I'm so excited. I I'm not a huge fan of Makeup by Shayla. I don't know why. Um, just never really like connected with her channel. Um, but you guys know I love a good ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And so, of course, I had to get this. Another item I picked up recently are these Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. This is the shade Froze. And I actually wore this on my first day back in the US. And it's cool. I just don't know if I need to spend 20 something dollars on a pot shadow and like a single shadow. I'll probably never go through this, but I just heard so much hype about these on YouTube and I was like, well, now I need to see what the hype is about. Like, cause you see people like swatching them down their arm. It's like this endless, beautiful, like foiled swatch. So I was very, very curious. So here it is. And I bought another shade too. It's somewhere in one of these piles and I will show it to you. I also picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I'm not so sure I love this concealer, so I'll have to keep you guys posted on this as well. I just feel like my ColourPop concealers do a really good job for me. Um, and this was kind of expensive, so we'll see. And I, I don't know that I love the coverage either, so... I will keep you guys posted and then of course I had to place an order with Beautylish uh, because I really wanted some of Jeffree Star's new liquid lipsticks and this one is actually the shade Nathan which is from his like family jewels collection. Um, so Nathan is Jeffree's boyfriend and they did like a beautiful corally nude shade with him like he did one for each of his dogs, Jeffree did a color, Nathan did a color, it was, it was an interesting collab. Um, but the only color that spoke to me was Nathan, so since I was already placing an order for some of his other lippies on Beautylish, I figured I would grab the three that I want. They're in here somewhere. I'll show them to you when I get there, but love this. And I'm definitely thinking I need to film a video um, just showing you guys my favorite Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks uh, because there are a few favorites. I think he does a really amazing job creating lip shades that are very flattering to people of color so if you're looking for some good options I would honestly check him out that's just my personal opinion take it for what you will okay so the next thing I want to show you guys is some more individual shadows these are some of the new ColourPop singles that I picked up uh, they came out with some really fun like colorful shades um, so of course since I'm really into color right now I picked up some of the colorful ones that spoke to me and then this up here is my Spartacus bundle from Divina Cosmetics. They were having like a 20% off sale. So I picked up that bundle because I had my eye on it. And uh, I don't know, these like warm neutrals really like scream to me. And I love that they threw in like a twist of these like gray shades. I don't know what that's gonna look like on my skin tone, but I'm really excited. I will try and link guys as many products as I can just because I know some of these like indie brands you guys might not be familiar with. I'm not trying to say like I'm the expert on these indie brands. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, if you're interested in discovering some new brands, uh, you might want to check my description box. <laughs> so something else I picked up, I really wanted these brushes and then I found them at my local Ulta. These are by Real Techniques and they're called the Instapop brushes, face brushes. So I have a face brush and a cheek brush and I really like these. I've been using them for bronzer and blush and yeah they're like a nice shape for I don't know just blending and blush application. Real Techniques is honestly one of my favorite like affordable brush brands so if you guys are interested definitely check these out. I also have a like my essential face brushes and eye brushes videos um, so if I remember I will link those up in the cards for you guys to check out in case you guys are 
wondering what brushes you might need for a perfect makeup application. Okay, so like I said, I did a lot of damage. This is one I'm so, so proud of. This is so naughty. Um, this is the Colored Rain. I don't know, it's their like giant palette. You can find this on their website. And uh, I filled this up. So you guys ready? You guys ready? Okay, one, two, three. Ah, this is so naughty, you guys, but I was filming putting this together on my Instagram stories the other day. So if you guys caught that, let me know. But basically this is filled with two brands. I have Luxie Beauty. So this is Luxie's, like the first shadows I bought from Luxie. This is a mix of their dollhouse collection and some of their singles because I wanted to try the brand. And then these are their newest highlighters. And then these shades I picked up when they were doing half off their website. Uh, most of these shades are from their liquid, from their heavy metals collection, which they came out with for like spring. Now I really wanted this collection, but I didn't want to spend the money. But when they were half off, I was like, are you kidding me? Um, so I bought them and I haven't used them on my eyeballs yet. I have used some of the shades over here, um, but not enough to give you guys a review. But I just, I love, I love these indie brands. And then Sydney Grace, you guys might have seen me talk about them. I heard about them mainly from my friend Angelica Nyquist. And I originally bought this, like these three rows right here, which is their winter 2017 bundle. And this, this bundle, I have a swatch party swatch so beautifully. I was like, holy crap. I was just like salivating over Sydney Grace. And I didn't want to purchase from them until I could take advantage of a sale. And it worked out perfectly while I was gone. They had a sale and I was like, oh yes, come to mama. And they did a dupe of the Icy Bitch palette that Tarte did that like April Fool's joke. Um, so I wasn't even going to buy this bundle, but it looked so stunning on their website. I bought it. I bought their fall bundle, which is these three rows. These last two rows are just shades that I've been like eyeballing on their website. They also added more greens and blues to their website. Um, so these two greens, I've never seen shades like them. I'm going to do like a whole swatch party on all my Sydney Gray shadows, as well as my look -see shadows. Um, but you guys, I'm like so obsessed with this palette. It's literally like my pride and joy and you guys have no idea how excited I am. And actually on my eyes today, I'm wearing some of these shadows. So it was my first time actually using my Sydney Grace eyeshadows on my face. Um, and that's just the God honest truth. I literally bought all these shadows without even trying the ones I had because they just swatched so beautifully and I'm so impressed with Sydney Grace. So just two really fun indie brands if you guys are interested. Okay guys, so now I want to show you what I got like from the Sephora sale. Um, I actually started off really good during the Sephora sale. I had a few things picked out. I was like, I'm not going to go too crazy. Seems so unnecessary. And then this box happened, but let's just talk about this one first. So the first thing I got was the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum and I saw Andrea Matigliano talk about this on her channel and she said it really did visibly help her lashes grow and I was like, hell yeah, like I need that in my life. I want long lashes. I mean, people are getting eyelash extensions so I'm gonna try this and it wasn't too spendy um, so I decided to pick it up in the sale and I'm so excited to try this. I will report back. I also wanted to show you guys um, this little 250 point perk. I was totally on the fence about this, but these are the little like Sephora pins. And I was like, fuck it, let me just get it. And they're so freaking cute. So I just wanna show you that. This was another point perks I cashed in on. It's like a little Sephora notebook. And um, it's kind of fun when they have stuff like this because obviously like it's not like you can just go buy a Sephora notebook so I thought that was super cute and I picked it up I think you can still get that on the Sephora website so if you guys are interested I would totally recommend because like why not um I'm trying to collect all my samples they have so many random samples so bear with me here is a little sample I added to my order I'm so excited because I've always wanted to try one of these Bite Beauty 
uh, multi sticks and this is in the shade rose pearl and it was free so I'm so pumped to try it out but that was just a sample so I'm gonna put it in my sample bag I got the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Now, if you guys have not been living under a rock, you've probably already seen this a million times, and you guys are probably not interested in hearing a review on it, but I'm curious because many, many people that I've heard talk about this have said it's like putting water on your face. So, of course, I'm curious because I do use powder to set my under eye, but I don't use it on my whole face. And I've heard mixed reviews, so I'm really, really interested in seeing what this does to my makeup. And then the last thing in this box is a new Juno oil. This is by Sunday Riley, and it's their Hydroactive Cellular Facial Oil. This is honestly, you guys, my go-to face moisturizer, especially in the winter time. I just think this does such a fabulous job, and when I went home, it's... So like warm there I didn't think I would need this much hydration so I took the drunk elephant Lala retro whipped face lotion that they have that's like almost $70 because I didn't think I would need so so much moisture and I honestly didn't like that product so I'm actually considering returning it um, but I'm so glad to have a Juno oil because I'm almost out of my first bottle and you guys, I mean, I don't go through skincare very fast, so the fact that I finished something is a big deal. And uh, now I have a backup. Okay, guys, so now we're going to move on to the big box. Oh, my God, this is actually heavy. And this isn't just stuff from Sephora. There's a ton of stuff in here. Let's quickly talk about... Do you guys want to talk about this? This is Angelica Nyquist collab with Sigma Beauty. She basically came out with her own like Sigma favorites. And I believe there's five brushes in here, four eye brushes and one highlighting brush. And I literally, literally almost fell out of my chair when I saw this. Um, I had the worst time with internet in Sri Lanka. So I wasn't able to watch like a lot of YouTube and like Instagram and stuff. So I was really missing like my beauty community. Um, and then when I woke up one day and I saw Makeup Struggles had shown this in her Instagram stories, I literally freaked out and ordered it right away. And now it's here and I, you guys know, I like fangirl so hard for Angelica. I hear so many other YouTubers talking about her. And I do consider her a friend, and I know she considers me a friend. Um, she's always so nice and friendly when I talked to her, and I was just so excited. And I believe this did sell out, so I'm so happy for her. It's just so nice to see the beauty community support a smaller YouTuber, and I think it's cool that Sigma Beauty collabed with somebody that doesn't have like millions and millions of followers, uh, but is still just doing an amazing job for the beauty community. Um, so I'm so excited and I've never tried anything from Sigma Beauty. So yeah, this is going to be exciting um, because a lot of my Morphe brushes are kind of falling apart as they age. And Sigma Beauty, I believe Angelica told me has a lifetime warranty or something like that. I haven't read all the info, but I'm so excited. Angelica, if you happen to see this video, congrats girl. I am so obsessed with your brush set. And then you can also find like coupon codes and stuff for Sigma. So I did order this brush and it was like a $10 brush. So look at how nicely they like package everything. So this is just like a really tiny like detailed crease brush. And I was like, shit, I'll buy it. It was, well, I didn't buy it. It was, I got like a $10 off coupon. So I just bought a $10 brush. So basically the brush was free. I kind of want to keep this. Like how cute is this packaging? Like I'm actually really impressed. I thought Sigma was one of those brands that was so hyped because they always have so many like codes and stuff. I was never interested in them. But of course, when like Angelica collabed, I was like, fuck yeah, like give it to me. Okay, so the theme is eyeshadow palettes. I wasn't going to buy this, but you guys, FOMO is a thing in the beauty community. You guys know this. Um, so I was like, I keep thinking like it's going to be the next... Mavita Loca palette, but yeah, this is the Kat Von D 10th anniversary palette. It's actually a lot prettier in person. Um, it looks way more like yummy in person. I think it looks pretty, not that exciting in photos, but I think when you see it in real life, it's a lot more exciting. So I'm really interested to test this out because I really want to see what the pigmentation is like 
etc etc so again don't be shy if there's a particular palette you want to hear my thoughts on quicker than some of the other ones I've mentioned here definitely leave me a comment another palette that I want to show you here it is the perception palette I took it out of the box apparently and then put it in this box so here is the perception palette of course you guys have probably already seen this a million times over but I haven't I have not used it yet love the packaging I think she did a wonderful job with this I feel like this is definitely more fall for me but it's nice to see ColourPop do something with multiple different like shimmer shades and stuff like that I feel like this is almost like their version of a very subtle like colorful palette and uh, I'm here for it I'm here for all of it next I want to show you guys this palette this is by the brand Certify and I believe they are a UK based I can't talk today they're a UK based brand and it took me forever to get this palette so I'm excited again this is one that Angelica talked about and I was like yes give it to me and then they have a new palette coming out too um, so of course I had to support um, and pre-order that one but let me open this up and sh oh, show it to you guys how pretty is this I need to stop with the rainbow palettes you guys but I just I'm so obsessed with the layout these are all matte shades this green shade called swamp is just like speaking to me on a whole nother level and I just love this packaging it's very lightweight so very exciting here's another brand that Angelica talked about and also my friend Paulina from Paulina's Beauty way too many rainbow palettes you guys it's like unreal how much like money I spent on palettes and I also ordered the Cleonade Cosmetics Paleo palette and the Archeo palette so I'm super duper excited for those Okay, you guys ready to see the Blossom palette? It's gonna be another colorful matte. Oh, okay, here we go. Wow, this is so cute, you guys. I'm literally obsessed. So, yeah, that is the Blush Tribe palette. And then I have another palette from the Blush Tribe. This is called the Malika palette. They already have a new palette that they're calling the Hassan palette or something. Uh, that they're coming out with and I don't think I'm gonna get that one obviously because I haven't even tried the two I have these literally arrived the day after I left Fargo so I didn't get a chance to play for play with these for a month so they've been sitting around just like collecting dust and now I'm finally in town and I get to uh, play with all these palettes I have like been hoarding oh, my God. <laughs> So here is the packaging, super duper cute. It's like a very warm tone palette, but I figured I was paying for shipping anyway, so I bought this one too. And it's cute, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see the formula. Okay, next I was so interested in trying these. Um, these are the Super Beauty Hydra Liners. Now I'm not a big um, gel liner girl and I hate that they dry up but these hydro liners can be used like as an eyeshadow base um, you can also just use them as liners and they're water activated which I thought was really cool because my gel liners always dry out but these you can just spray water and they bring them back to life so I got a few different shades I don't know there's more in this box somewhere but the two I'm holding right now I have rose gold and a shade called gold digger and these are both chromes and i just thought it would be fun to test these out and maybe buy some more they have a lot of really fun vibrant matte shades and if you guys aren't familiar with suva beauty they are a canadian indie brand um that was started by a makeup artist and i follow them on instagram they're really sweet and cute girls and these i actually picked up from the store riley rose which i believe is the makeup store version of forever 21 so i'm not this was my first purchase from them but yeah this is the inside of a hydro liner and they're water activated so you just spray some water on these and it'll turn into a liner and let me show you the other shade here that i'm holding sorry guys i didn't think to take these things out of the box um and this one is called gold digger and it's like a beautiful golden shade so I thought these would be fun 
to do like some cool graphic liner looks, try something new. Okay, here is the other Tarte Chrome paint I bought. This is in the shade Top Yacht. Is it Top Yacht? Top Yacht. I don't know. This, oh no, look at that. Wow, this is pretty hood of Macy's. Like my jar is broken. Can I even get this open? Oh my God. I wonder if that's gonna like mess with the airtight qual. Oh. Okay, this is like completely shattered. Oh, you know what? I actually heard about these doing this. Like some of the older batches were like crumbling on people. So you guys saw the one, this is such a hot mess. I don't even know how I'm gonna put this lid back on without spilling all this. This is gonna need to go back to Macy's. No, thank you. I've never had them send me a broken product, so. And it wasn't broken in shipping because the lid was missing that little part before, you know, it shipped because there's no extra bit. So that's disappointing, Tarte. Get your shit together. Okay, this I was really excited for. This is the Real Techniques Flawless Base Brush Set. So in here there's a contour brush, detail a brush, buffing brush, and square foundation brush. I wanted it, honestly, because of the contour brush because I thought it might be really nice for bronzer. So we'll see, you guys know, obsessed with Real Techniques. And I think this was like $12, so it was a really good price for that set. Another thing I bought from the drugstore is this Pixie Skin Treats. I wanted to try their toner forever, so I thought, let me just get this mini set. So we have the Glow Mud Cleanser, the Glow Tonic, and the Glow Mud Mask which I am all about. Very exciting stuff. Let me know if you guys are fans of the Pixie Toner because honestly, people talk about it all the time. Here are the two shades I got from Jeffree Star. These are the new shades that he came out with. So these are basically from his lip ammunition line. They were so popular as lipsticks that he decided to do liquid lipsticks. So I bought Allegedly and Thick as Thieves. So let's open these because I've never seen them either. And like I said, when I was talking about Nathan, I want to do a video showing you guys all my favorite nudes from Jeffree Star. So let me know if you're interested. Here is the shade Thick as Thieves. This one reminds me of a shade that he already has. Um, the differences in his nudes are very subtle. Uh, but when you see them swatch all together, you can definitely tell the difference. So this is allegedly. So two really pretty nudes. Very, very excited, as always, to have more liquid lipsticks. Okay, so here are the two lippy products I picked up from the Shayla collab with ColourPop. I bought one of the Lux lipsticks because, let's be real, I couldn't resist. And this is the shade, ooh! And I just thought this with the gloss she came out with was a beautiful combination. I really like these uh, lipstick formula and... Oh, I'm scared. Oh, okay. This color, it just is like a nudie peach color. Um, so hopefully it works well with my skin tone. You guys, the ColourPop lipstick formula is rad. So if you haven't tried it yet, I would recommend. And then this is the gloss they came out with called Neat Freak. And I'm not really into lip gloss, but I was like, let me give it a try. Let me see. This is a good combo. Uh, I haven't bought a lip gloss <sighs> from ColourPop in a hot minute so when everyone started talking about this I was like let me try that out let me see what I think okay here is the other Suva Hydra liner I got and this is in the shade Grease which is the matte black because I thought hey I could just do my regular eyeliner with this uh, doesn't have to be anything crazy, but yeah, there's so many cool like graphic liner ideas roaming the internet these days So this is just a black one um, Yeah, very non Exciting, but I think I'm gonna be able to do some cool things with that So I'm very excited that I bought these Suva products and then the last item I bought from Riley Rose this is I'm gonna blame this one on Georgia Harris because she 
recently hauled these when she went to IMATS and I had seen these previously but I didn't want to buy them because they're kind of spendy um, but Riley Rose was on sale and these are the Lemonhead Los Angeles glitters and I got the shade Gilda Beast uh, Space Paste is what it's called and you can actually find these on uh, Muse Beauty Pro as well and they're just a very heavy glitter uh, paste and you can you know tap this on in your hair uh, you can use it as body glitter and I just wanted to try it out and see just wanted one color so I just picked like a nice gold shade that I can do very many things with and I'm excited to have that okay guys so if you know me you know how much I love Pat McGrath and so of course I had to order this when her website went on sale because I've been obsessing over some of her matte lipsticks and so I got this bundle and it's like a $90 bundle and I got it for like 75 bucks. So I figured let me just open this on camera and try to make it as least messy as possible. Oh my gosh. It's like sequin heaven. <laughs> you guys are into sequins? You want to buy a cup of I'm telling you. Okay, so I got, this comes with four of her, like four, well three, I can't talk. Uh, three of her different items. Um, this was such a good idea to just get a bundle because I knew some of these products I already wanted. So one of them, what is this one? So here is the packaging for the Lux Trans in Beautiful Creature. This is the only one I wasn't familiar with, but her packaging, you guys, is like heaven. And it's just like a, oh, and this is like a perfect, like, rosy color that I would wear anyway. Um, so this one isn't matte. It's like a satin finish. Um, and I love, I love, love, love. The other two were uh, products I wanted anyway. Um, and since they were on sale and it came in this bundle, I was like all over it. And her packaging, as always, is beautiful. So this is her lip balm. Haven't really heard anyone talk about this. I know my friend Kat bought this because she's obsessed with Papa Grat. So her lip balm comes in the white packaging and it still feels nice and luxurious and it's just a clear balm. You really don't get that much product. Oh my gosh, I feel like I could get through this balm pretty quick. Maybe not a lipstick, but how cute is that? Her packaging is adorable. Just going to show you again. I know she just came out with lip glosses too. Which, like, how fun if you're a lip gloss junkie. I personally am not enough of a lip gloss junkie to buy Pat McGrath lip gloss. But I'm just saying, like, if you are, how cute is this packaging? So this is the shade everyone's after. This is called Flesh 3. Or, yeah, Flesh 3. And this is one of her matte lipsticks. Oh, I'm so scared when I open Bullet Lipstick. And this is, like, a beautiful dusty rose again. And... Her matte lipsticks are so freaking hydrating. I don't know how they came up with this formula, but yeah. So basically, I got three of them. I had no intention of buying any more of her lipsticks, but it was such a good deal. I could not pass up picking these up for 20% off. So I won't be buying any more. I'm done. I just was so curious. Here is my sequin mess from opening that up. I'm, I'm so curious to know... If you guys have purchased from Pat McGrath and like what your favorite products are from her, let me pick this box back up because there's still more to go. I feel like this is going to be a nightmare to edit, but I thought it would be fun to like do one big haul instead of doing like parts of a haul. So, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay. Here is something. I don't know why I bought this. It was really random. This is the IGK Swipe Up No Frizz Smoothing Hair Wipes. So basically there's like individually packeted wipes in here. And you're supposed to like smooth them over your hair. It says, these portable smoothing hair wipes are made with natural hemp paper and infused with a blend of avocado and camellia oil to calm static and block humidity without disturbing your style. One swipe leaves hair instantly tamed and shiny with no added weight. So excited to try these. If you guys have really staticky hair, you might want to check this out. It was only 18 bucks, so I was like, fuck it, let's buy it. Okay, I did buy some hair products because I was having one of those days. This is the IGK No More Blow High Speed Air Dry Spray. This was totally one of those like Instagram made me buy deals. 
uh, because I saw somebody talking about it and I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to know if this is going to work. So basically, you're supposed to spray this after shampoo and conditioner, spray, oh, spray on towel dried hair in sections, massage into each section with fingers working from root to tip, ensuring every strand is coated for waves or curls, twist and scrunch as you spray to encourage your natural curl. For best results, once hair is almost dry, finish with IGK Styler. So, from what I understood, it's just supposed to help me help my hair dry faster. Um, it says hair air dries up to 46% faster. 46% doesn't really seem like that much. This shit is expensive, but you do get quite a bit. It is 6.3 ounces. It's very heavy, so I'm very curious to try this out. I will report back on my findings once I put it in my hair. Okay, here is something I feel like is so like 10 years ago for everyone else, but you guys know how much I love Sunday Rightly skincare, so I had to get this. This is their newest foundation that they came out with, and it's called the Influencer Foundation. I was so excited when I saw that they were doing something like this, and honestly, I'm a little bit apprehensive about the shade that I picked up. I picked up the shade 240 which is tan with caramel undertones. This literally looks like mud in the packaging. I feel like it's going to be really off. But I'm really curious. So this is supposed to be like a full to medium coverage foundation. And I have seen a few mixed reviews on this. And a lot of people really seem to not like this foundation. So yeah, we'll test it out and report back to you guys. Okay, so I'm trying not to buy foundation, but you guys, Becca also came out with a new foundation. This is called Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation, and I picked up the shade Olive. I've had pretty decent luck with Becca's foundations, so I thought, hey, I mean, I might as well, you know what I mean? Um, so here is what it looks like. It has a silver, oh, I don't know if this shit's gonna work for me, guys, but uh, we'll try out and see. It looks a little freaking light, um, but they named it Olive, so yikes. That is That looks really light. That looks really light, but yeah, you say ultimate coverage, and Karen is here for it. You know what I mean? This is so an impulse buy. This is the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot Instant Brightening Boost Illumination Intense Instant... I can't even read that. Okay, so this is a rubber mask, I believe. A rubber brightening mask. And I was like, let me try it. I've seen some weird stuff on the internet featuring these masks. And so I'm like, hell yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have used this, let me know because I haven't. So I don't know what I'm in for. I did pick up the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Liquid Liner. Um, I was so curious to see if this was any good. So I bought it, so we'll see. You guys know I love a good felt liquid liner pen, so. Um, and yep. then I bought a Permagel Ultra Glide eye pencil. I have the black in this and a brown shade, um, so I was really excited to add this blue shade to my collection. I don't have a lot of colorful eyeliners. I used to, but this formula I get along with really well, and I figured the sale was the best time to pick it up so it's not like a bright bright blue it's more like a midnight blue oh this is so pretty I don't know if you guys can see it um, but I am excited to put that in my eyeball section okay this was totally an impulse buy and I think I'm gonna return this because this is a six dollar toothpaste and it's way too small this is by the brand Marvis and it says classic strong mint I don't know do I need Sephora toothpaste like that seems a little too high maintenance for me um, let me know you guys convince me to keep this if you've tried this I'm really curious is it worth it I'm thinking no okay this product I was really interested in because I heard Ingrid Nielsen talk about it on Instagram I believe and this is the Brio Briogeo scalp revival charcoal tea tree and sorry Charcoal Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. This is no salt base, no silicones, no parabens. And basically, it says this pH balanced scalp treatment is formulated with a unique complex of tea tree oil, biotin, and witch hazel to soothe itchiness and irritation and restore balance and hydration. Um, so, I don't have itchiness, but I do have really oily hair. And I just thought maybe charcoal would help it. Um, kind of help with some oil control 
because I've found that it's really hard to find hair products for greasy hair, which is pretty shocking because you'd think most people have greasy hair, um, which basically means your hair is not greasy. It means it's actually dry. I think it works like skin. Like, if you have dry skin, it actually means you're not getting enough hydration. Um, no. If you have dry skin, it means your skin's actually oily because you're um, not producing or you're like overproducing or there's some whole theory behind it. So I just thought I'd try this. I don't know. It was very expensive. So we'll see. We'll see if it doesn't work. It's going back. You know what I mean? Like I don't have time to keep stuff I don't like. I wanted to try a nude stick because I had never tried the brand. Um, and I figured, you know, with the sale, why not? So I picked up one shade. Um, and I picked up the shade Burgundy, and this is their matte satin formula. Um, it's sealed, so I'm not going to go and open it. And this color is a lot darker than I thought, so we'll have to see. Let me know what your color recommendations are. If you are a nude stick fan, I feel like I want something. I thought I was going to get a nude, but this looks like straight up like Kat Von D exorcism, and I wanted just like a easy lip, so... That might be in the pending pile. Okay, so I picked this up. This is my favorite high-end mascara, you guys. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara by Lancome. I don't think I would have spent full price on this. Like, I wouldn't pay full price for, for this because I just think, like, it's principally incorrect to pay full price on a high-end mascara. But it was 15% off, so I bought it. And I've only used this in sample sizes. So this will be interesting to see if it was any different when I bought the full size. Because I know some people make videos on like which products they loved as samples but didn't like it when they bought the full size. So it'll be a huge eye opener for me to see if it's worth it in the full size. I've heard nothing but good things about that mascara. Um, and it's been out for a while so it's not like it's this like new product that everyone's talking about. I think it's just that good. Uh, personally, I really like it. This was a product that totally caught my eye um, when the sale started and I was going to get it and I talked myself out of it so many times because I was like, Karen, you don't need another blush. But these are the Kevin Aquan The Neon Blushes and I bought the shade, what is this, Sunset? Okay, you guys brace yourselves for this like heavenliness and I don't own anything from Kevin Aquan. Of course, I thought these were going to be a lot bigger but like look at this thing, it's so beautiful. It's like an ombre from a highlight to a really nice hot coral orange. So I'm really excited to play with this. I've heard nothing but good things about Kevin Aquan's face products. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in this. I feel like it was sold out a bunch of times during the sale. So I'm thinking a lot of people picked it up like me. A lot of people were very curious about it. So very excited to have that okay so another hair thing i bought this i feel like i need to return because honestly like i literally bought a sunscreen for my head so this is by the brand kula never tried anything from them it's an ocean salted sage scalp and hair mist and it's got like drug facts on it and it says year-round protection from the top down our new 70 percent plus organic scalp and hair mist will protect and nourish from roots to tips, including sensitive skin on your scalp. I feel like this would be good for somebody that has a lot of time in the sun. I mean, I'm outside ever so often, but not enough to need this. And I feel like this was one of those, like, impulse buys. So I think that might go back. Like, thinking about my needs, I feel like I don't need that. Okay, so here was another really ridiculously expensive hair purchase. And this is the... Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Um, and I feel like this, again, is going to help me with my oily scalp. So we'll see. If I don't like it, I'm going to send it back because this is like a $42 shampoo. And it's a tub. Like, who wants to put on tub shampoo? Like, that's so high maintenance. But let's see. Is it sealed? Let's see what it smells like. I've never... Oh, my God. Oh my god, it smells like mint ice cream. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh god, it's already like leaking. Ugh, I'm just gonna put it in my hair. Okay. So yeah, let's see how well that scalp scrub works. I will report back. This was exciting. So this is 
a set called Acid Trip by Drunk Elephant. Like I said, I've been trying their products. I just love this packaging. It's so obnoxious. And in here you get like smaller sizes of some of their popular products. So we have the C Firma. We have the TLC Sakari Baby Facial, which is fucking expensive. It's like a $90 like product. So I'm excited to have that. And then we have the TLC Rambusha Glycolic Night Serum. And then the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. Uh, super cute packaging. Oh, sorry. The face oil is down here. Um, so we'll try it. Like I said, I haven't found my Holy Grail Drunk Elephant products yet. I feel like uh, Sunday Riley has worked a lot better for me, but I'm going to give it a chance and see how it goes. So not going to discount it yet. Okay, so this one, <laughs> I have been complaining about how I'm so pissed that Marc Jacobs didn't make this bronzer like more universal or like he didn't come up with more shades. So basically, I was overseas when this launched and I wasn't going to get a chance to see it in person. Um, so what I thought was I'll buy it and I'll return it. Like if it doesn't work, like fuck you, you know? Um, so I bought it and I have it and I'm looking at it and I don't feel like this is going to work, but I'm going to, I'm going to use it. I want to see if it's too light for my skin tone, which I think it's going to be, but this is like how good sales tactics are on YouTube because I don't want to support this. But it's like everyone makes it seem like it's the best bronzer in the world, which is another reason I'm pissed that they didn't make multiples, like multiple skin tone friendly versions of this. But I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work out, I'm going to swatch it and send it back as a giant fuck you to Marc Jacobs. <laughs> so let me know if you agree with me. I feel like a lot of people are going to be annoyed with me for buying it because I was pretty vocal about being annoyed that it wasn't going to work for most skin tones. I don't think it is going to work for me, but I had to, I had to like confirm my suspicions. So I'm going to try it out tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys posted. Here's something I was so excited for you guys. I haven't bought a Bika highlighter in so long. And then I saw this color and I was like, huh, I'm going to need to try that. This is their new shade called Dreamsicle. Now, they are always coming out with highlighters, but highlighters are so expensive. I believe they're almost $40. I think they hover around $38. Uh, but this is so adorable, and the little flying saucer is white, which I've never seen them do before. And this color is not as scary as I thought. Um, so I think this is going to work really well for my skin, and I'm going to put it in my pile of products to try out as soon as possible. Are you guys tired of me talking yet? I'm tired of talking and I got a few more products so I'm gonna try and like breeze through them. This is something I really, 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 really wanted. This is the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. So this is a salicylic acid treatment oil and it's basically supposed to help medicate um, congested pores and smooth the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, la di da di da So I basically have all the Sunday Riley oils at this point, or all the ones I want. I can't think if there's any more. I have the Luna, the Flora, the Juno, and now I have the UFO, and this one is green. I have to show this to you guys. Oh shit. This one is green, which is my favorite color, and I love the Sunday Riley oils, so very excited to have this and you guys know I will keep you posted as soon as I form an opinion on this. Next product I bought Total Impulse by. This was also something that I was peer pressured into by Total Makeup Junkie Ashani here on YouTube. She said she was looking for a sunscreen and you guys I never wear sunscreen before I put makeup on my face. I don't even wear sunscreen on my body which I feel like now I'm like Seriously, Karen, are we taking these kinds of chances at, like, the age of 30? Um, so she said this was really good, and I was like, well, now I need it. And so this is by the brand Tatcha, super bougie, um, and it's their Pore for Perfecting Sunscreen with SPF 35. And, yeah, I'm excited. I will have to keep you guys posted. I don't even know how to wear SPF and do my makeup, so it'll be quite the learning experience for me. And this was $65, so 
it better do something magical to my face. Okay, next item. This is, <laughs> this was a self-care item. This is the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. I love the Fresh Lip Balms. I've had such chapped lips since I got back from my trip home. And, you know, Fresh just launched these new fragrances of their lip balm. I know they did a lemon, and you guys know I love coconut. Oh god, it smells so good. This is so cute. The packaging is adorable. So when I saw that the coconut one was available on Sephora, I scooped it up. And then also in that order, I got this little guy. This is the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow, and this is the mini. Look at how tiny this is. It's a little baby. And there are the two shades. I actually have a full size of her product that comes in this similar packaging so you guys can see the difference here um so this is 0 0.35 ounces and does it even say it? this is like 0 0.14 ounces um so yeah very small but honestly like am i even gonna use this up so i'm glad she did a mini and i returned my like 129 palette like dollar palettes from her so I'm gonna try this out if I don't like it I'm gonna send it back because you know, nobody got time to keep makeup they don't like okay then I got this guy this is so random this is the Briogeo scalp revival stimulating therapy massager you guys I don't know I feel like I should return this it looks ridiculous um, but I was like ooh, I could use this to massage my shampoo and stuff but like isn't that what your fingers are for yeah, this literally feels like a hairbrush. I think I need to return this. It's like too much impulse shopping. Like when you're, you know, at home in Sri Lanka bored, your husband's not with you and you're just like hanging out by yourself. You just tend to shop. So I don't know if you guys have this, can you talk me into keeping this? Because right now I'm not feeling keeping that like makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense to me to own that. Okay. I'm so excited to own this. And I wanted to film this video as soon as I could so I could break into all these products. But this is the new Hourglass freaking setting powder. And this is a translucent setting powder. And this is what it looks like. And I've heard people say nothing but good things. I love to use the Hourglass ambient palettes on my face pretty much every day. Especially in Sri Lanka. Like I only took those palettes for face products. And I used it every time I did my makeup. So... Ugh. I'm so excited you guys you don't even understand I'm gonna be testing this out and letting you guys know my thoughts on this product I love Hourglass I think they're an amazing brand and I hope they you know continue to cater to multiple different skin tones I think there's definitely room for improvement from them but oh my god they're doing a really good job and they are one of my favorite brands okay guys last product this is the Pinky Rose Bright Lights Palette. <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing products to talk about, but I'm exhausted. I feel like we've been talking for like hours and I still need to edit this video. So here's what this looks like. This was sold out forever and then it came back in stock and I'm like trying to be on a no buy and then I was like, fuck, it's in stock. So I bought it. This is like 25 bucks and it looks beautiful. Um, There's some pressed pigments in here or pressed glitters in here so i'm just like itching to try this palette out um so i'm so happy i got my hands on this and i love it okay guys that is everything from my haul from being away for the last month i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully i won't be buying any new makeup for a while i feel like i have oh my gosh i feel like i bought like ridiculous amounts of makeup and now you know for the first time in a long time i feel like actually content which is not really a good thing but i don't know it's just like makeup makes me happy like sue me you know whatever some people drink some people smoke some people you know do other things bike hike dance and one of my favorite things to do is makeup so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul give this video a thumbs up if you did please 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 let me know what you want me to review first i would really appreciate that you guys and I thank you so much for your time. I will be back on my channel as soon as I can get my poops in a group. Um, I love to, you know, film every other day for you guys and bring you new and awesome content. So thank you for sticking with me.
I will make a whole video explaining my absence on YouTube soon, but for now, I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.